Hey, good morning, good morning. It is Tuesday. Thanksgiving's just two days away. Hope everybody has a good week planned ahead and um, able to maybe get the day off, enjoy it, and relax just a little bit. I know we certainly are going to take this year off. Sometimes you can um, work every single day, get yourself into a rut. You can uh, get so used to working that you forget to spend a little time with your family or friends. You know, maybe if you have kids, a significant other, or like I said, some uh, some parents or family members that you know you like to see every now and then. Uh, I know I love seeing my mom and dad uh, quite a bit. Definitely a bond that we have. Uh, you know, my kids just try to spend as much time with them as I can when I'm not working. Either I'm working on with the fellas or I'm at home and I'm with the kids and the old lady. So, you know, that's just kind of how it is. And I'm sure, you know, as my life changes and as I grow, things will come to change things will be different my uh, perspective on things will be different I know you know now that I'm early I'm young I want to work 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 hard and get at it when I'm older I'm sure it'll be more about you know staying home spending time and maybe traveling around and doing some things with the rewards for working so hard anyways got a good pretty busy schedule this morning got uh, four or five estimates on schedule we got a little bit of rain coming down that's okay it's not going to slow us down very much we got to go clean out the trailer with all the uh, officers so off office supply stuff that we picked up the other day um if you guys haven't got a chance to check out the older video check out our older video section or other videos i'll try to put a little link here on it for you but we cleaned out a whole office we got all the chairs a bunch of supplies and stuff we want to get out of the trailer get it inside the shop and kind of sort it all out keep watching guys hit that subscribe button below give it a quick thumbs up enjoy the rest of your day hey real quick so i know you're probably only going to watch this for maybe uh, a minute to three minutes but I challenge you to watch the whole video, give it a thumbs up, and uh, you know maybe share it or subscribe if you haven't already. So I'm sorry, I'll let you get back to it. All right, guys. Crew is out there getting busy in the shop, getting things done, emptying out the trailer so that way they can make some room for the first couple estimates of the day. We got some boxes, some couches, I believe a love seat, and a couple other little things. So uh, wish you guys luck. We're gonna be in the office getting all the stuff that they pulled out of the trailer. We're gonna sort it out and uh, see if we can get some of it posted and get it on the resale. So uh, keep watching, hit that subscribe button guys, get notified, all right? We're gonna be uploading videos frequently about junk removal tips, advertising, how you can get your stuff put out there. Check out our other videos on creating your first post. If you wanna know how to promote or uh, boost your post on Facebook, you know, put a little money towards it, try to spread it out in your community, then uh, check out our uh, other video on how to create and boost your posts. Basically pretty simple. Um, check out other junk removal people like Sonoma Strong, Junk Guys DFW, JRA, Extreme Junk Removal, AJ's Junk Removal Service, or AJ's Removal, AJ's Removal, I'm sorry, um, Let It Go, um, of course, Jeff Only Junk Removal, there's a bunch of other newcomers on there as well, and some old time guys like Supreme Empire, and uh, Junk Removal University, I think. Anyways, check it out guys, give us a quick thumbs up. Be kind, have a great day, and uh, keep enjoying the video. We're gonna get some stuff hauled away. Tomorrow we got a big old job. We took down half the deposit just last week. So keep watching. All right, shots got her in place. Oh yeah. Brand new file cabinet from the office clean out. And we got uh, two right back here. We're gonna go ahead and resell those two. And uh, the big one is gonna be a keeper for us as we continue to grow. These filing cabinets are not very uh, cheap. So I'm glad we were able to get one. And so you, you gotta really um, play, really make some decisions. Do you need the money now or can you hold on to it? And um, you know, you have money money now, you don't necessarily need to get rid of the things that you know you're eventually gonna have to buy. If you come across, you know, a, a trailer, maybe you could use it for your business or maybe it'd be better off to sell that trailer and use that money for advertising or other things. So we got the pictures of the filing cabinets up, so we're gonna get those out of the way. That way we could have our um, backdrop area, good to go. Quick tip also with the resell, have you a nice back area, all right? I already mentioned before to take lots of pictures, but have a nice little area behind it. That way people's eyes aren't getting drawn to uh, other stuff in the background. All right guys, in the shop, staying busy. The guys just picked up a uh, quick couch this morning. They're on their way to recycle some of the TVs that we picked up the last couple of weeks. And we got uh, three or four more estimates on the schedule. Staying busy, get stuff done. Happy hauling, everybody. Okay, real quick, give this video a thumbs up. So the guy has got a uh, pickup done inside of a garage. Gets you a before and a little after up here. 
quick little job, little uh, shelves and some cardboard boxes. People were moving out of an estate and needed to get it cleaned up and we actually came in highly recommended. So I was glad we were able to get that done. And we got ourselves a new uh, print table up and at it. So that's awesome. Got that from the uh, office clean out we did a couple days ago and you guys can check out that video. I think we're gonna hold on to this thing because it's really nice. Might, might have some uh, morning meetings, let everybody know where they're going, what we're doing, what the goals are for the week. Have y'all and guys, like I said, um, got those before and after pictures for you up there. And um, guys are on their way to do one more pickup of the day. We're gonna call it a day. Me and Sean are about to uh, go do some resale stuff. We went earlier and shipped a old uh, Pokemon game system that we had uh, found, got that sold. Are on our way. Sorry, Sean was, Sean's distracting me over there. Some stuff we found. Anyways, guys, uh, keep following along. Hit that subscribe button and uh, give it a quick thumbs up. As always, quick thumbs are roo. Man, it is a little, uh, little wet and rainy back there. That's okay. Got my dog in the dang window here. Get out of the window, Blue. I'll be back. I'll be back, girl. <sighs> Old lady's got the uh, Christmas tree up already. So, you know, that's doing her thing. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started today. The guy's got a nice... Big a uh, real estate clean out. Just got some stuff spread out around the yard and around the old farm. So we're gonna show up and uh, get it done. Charles is gonna have an extra two guys, so we're gonna have a crew of three out there. I'm gonna get some stuff done inside the shop. Make sure the guys are good to go after Thanksgiving. We're not gonna work Thanksgiving. We're gonna take that day off tomorrow. So uh, that should be nice. Get back at it Friday and uh, you know get started on working this weekend. So do you guys work weekends? Do you guys work seven days a week, five days a week? You know, do work just a couple days and go do something else on the side. Uh, I'm curious. Comment below. Anyways, it's getting a little cold out, guys. I got some uh, hoodies ordered for the uh, fellas. I always like to get hoodies every uh, couple months or at least, you know, once or twice a year. That way they're good to go because, man, they can get um, tore up and ripped up when you're just climbing over the trailers, pick stuff up, go to the scrapyard, landfill, all that good jazz. Anyways, let me get just uh, a quick thumbs up, guys, and I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoy the other videos. Another good note, I'm on this thing now. I'm able to put a little pressure on this foot, so that's good. And uh, for you guys don't know, um, about a week ago, week and a half ago, I broke both my heels. So I've kind of been in a wheelchair, but now I'm able to, like I said, roll on this thing. I still got my cast on this underneath all that crap, but I was able to get a boot on this. Good to go. I have a great team. Guys have really been helpful, you know, taking care of me, and I'm helping them. Make sure that they have jobs and things are taken care of. Gas is in the truck. Lunch is taken care of. So it all it's all big wheel, big happy family. Everything's working out. They're taking care of the work, and I'm making sure they got work. And we're all getting paid. We're all making happy. We're all getting customers cleaned up and the community's getting cleaned. Quick update though, feel much better. Pretty positive guy, I keep going. I just wake up every day and uh, keep at it. The guys tell me I gotta be careful because you don't wanna put too much pressure on your leg. You know, mess up enough long term. As a person though, I wanna get up and get at it. I'm not, I don't have the tendency to just sit there, bitch and moan and just stay there. I'm at it, I wanna keep going. You know, life can be hard sometimes. You don't wanna sit there and dwell over things. So you gotta keep up, get going at it guys. Wish you guys the best and uh, happy hauling. Good morning. Get things started at JF Holland. This is not the money you can make. Anybody can go out there and make a bunch of money, thousands of dollars, millions of dollars. It's what you do at the end the end. If you blow it all, you're just gonna need to make it all again. So, as you make money, save it, invest it in other things that can make you more money, and be patient. Don't blow it all, okay? Otherwise, you're gonna make millions, and you're gonna have to make millions all the time because you're always constantly blowing millions, and you can't save nothing or leave nothing behind, okay? so. Good people save up money and they spend it to help other good people and they invest it in other things so they can have more things and invest in other good things, okay? It's not all about you, all right? Make a million dollars, save it, help other people make a million dollars and you'll make a million more. I was just kind of uh, looking around doing some research and one of our local junk removal companies is actually using our before and after photos and uh, yeah, I was kind of like, whoa, hey, that's, those pictures look familiar let me look at ours and sure enough we post a before and after picture and then a couple of days or a week later they take it and post another before and after picture using our stuff now in the past i've had somebody use um, our wording and like literally just copy and paste what i was using in an ad and i mean eh, whatever but dang our pictures but hey you know what? We're, we're here to help but really guys if you're looking for before and after pictures your best bet, if you have, haven't done a job, a single job at all, okay, you haven't got on Facebook or Craigslist or even walked around, knocked on a couple doors and achieved a job, took a picture of it and did it, then go ahead, 
Take a picture of your couch, your chair, your bed, wherever it's at. Take a picture of it where it's at. Move that, then take a picture of it gone. There you go, you have a before and after. Okay, you're gonna do the same thing at a customer's house. All right, try not to steal other people's pictures. Now we have, we put all our before and after pictures up there for everybody to see. So you know, it's the web, that's just the public information. It is what it is. But yeah, I mean, I'm kind of flattered, I guess. You know, it's pretty cool. I definitely learned how to do junk removal from reading, watching YouTube, learning from other people. So that's how you grow. You gotta find a good person, you gotta find a mentor, you gotta watch other people, you gotta learn, you gotta get out there and you just gotta do it for yourself and see what works best for you and your crew and your things. All right, guys, stay positive, stay happy. Weekend's coming up soon. We're in the middle of the week. We get you guys get this uh, video uploaded pretty soon. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, thumbs up. All right, guys, um, quick little tip I'm going to try to get in here. If you guys come across a really big job, and it's obviously more than your um, truck or trailer or load could handle, because sometimes you're going to come across that. You could have a big 50-foot truck, and you're going to come across a job where you're going to need 400 foot. Okay, anyways, if you show up a job and it's too big than you expect, then don't get all frustrated or wonder how the heck you're going to um, get it all accomplished or do it all at once. You don't have to. Look at it as you just secured three or four good sized jobs, trailer loads or truck loads or whatever you have, instead of looking at like, oh man, how am I going to do it? You were hoping to have a job where you showed up and filled up your whole thing. Great, you have a job where you're going to be able to do that four or five times. Let the customer know, hey, you know, it's going to be quite a lot of stuff. And this is going to be my price for the multiple loads. I think it's going to be three or four loads. So, and you know, that's the way it works. And eventually, if you put some money aside, you can get to where you have a big box truck or a bigger trailer. And you can shorten the loads and hopefully get done, get more done in a day. So, that's just the way it is. You know what I mean? And some people might go, oh, well, isn't it going to cost more because you have to make multiple trips? Well, yes, certainly. That's just part of the cost. Or I can go get a box truck. And include that in the cost as well. It's just going to come out to about the same. Junk is junk. 400 yards is 400 yards. You know what I mean? So, in a sense, obviously, the more you have to make trips, more gas, and etc. But a bigger vehicle, bigger cost, bigger expenses. So, it just comes right along with it. But be excited for those big job guys. Even if you only have a you know pickup truck and you're going to have to make five or six trips, it just has to be done. You're going to be booked for the day and you'll be good to go. All right? Just... um cancel the rest of the jobs, or maybe it was your first estimate and you only estimate you had, and um, you're like, hey, heck, I'm gonna be busy for the next day or two. Or maybe make two, two uh, full half days. Now we can knock it out, and then the rest of the time you can advertise and uh, try to book other appointments. That way you're just not ignoring other people for this one job. Hope that helps, guys. I know a lot of times you're gonna show up and it's gonna be much bigger than anticipated. Don't freak out, you know, quote it by the size, labor, time, whatever, however you guys wanna do it. Just don't freak out and be excited about it. All right, positive things, doors are opening. Video Charles sent me for the job that they're on for the uh, whole house clean out or it's a whole estate, but let's take a look at this. Really muddy. Sean and I got everything moved down to the bottom level. Yeah, so definitely a, a good amount of little stuff there. Charles and them, they're really always keeping busy. Um, you know, good set of guys. Um, do what they're supposed to do. When it gets muddy like that, guys, try to, you know, obviously, the switch like that, they're out in, a, I believe it was a barn or a shed. So they're good to go as far as tracking mud around. They're not going inside on carpet or nothing like that. But you get yourself in a position where you're moving stuff in and out of the house and it starts to rain on you, um, don't be afraid to have one guy kind of stay inside with his shoes off or shoes that are not muddy yet. And they just carry stuff outside for the guy that's already out there just to kind of take stuff to the trailer you know it just sucks being the guy that maybe is out there and it's being wet it's just part of it anyways guys um nice little video um hope you guys enjoy give it a thumbs up i don't know i'll probably say that four or five times during the video but i really hope you guys give it a thumbs up reselling today's hot topic has been office chairs how many have we sold today sean uh going three, three four now yep. we're about to be five. Oh, we've sold four we got another person coming for the fifth one at a uh, forty dollars a piece we're looking at 40 80 120 160 200 dollars right there in resale and office supply stuff that we had previously gotten paid to haul away definitely glad we were able to keep it out of the landfills guys this stuff gets chunked all the time sometimes these office chairs will actually get scrapped because they weigh so much and they got the cylinders and metal and stuff but there you go 40 bucks a piece it's not horrible we're definitely not going to be rich anytime soon but, you know, 200 bucks in one day, it certainly does help pay for somebody to, to uh, sit here and resell the stuff while I can get focused on jobs and other things. And there's a little bit of money left over for the business to, uh, you know, take care of the electric bill. So, in case, anyways, guys, there you go. Um, office chair supplies. If you find them, check them out. All right, the guys completed 
the whole yard of pickup with all the junk and metal and just all kinds of crap, uh, debris and all kinds of junk. So they went by the scrap yard and I unloaded a little bit of metal so they could get off the trailer and make some room for the last estimate of the day for a piano. Uh, they unloaded the scrap, they had a little over uh, 2,000 pounds, so it was an extra 104 bucks added on to the revenue today. So we're doing good, pretty good. Got a couple extra um, office chairs to sell here in just a little bit. Like I said, the guys are on their way to uh, do a piano estimate. Hopefully they'll get the job and we'll be good to go. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, guys. Get this video uploaded for you. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to get some of the uh, before and after pictures of the job that the guys did today. I wasn't able to get too much footage, um, just the stuff of them walking through the mud earlier and then uh, a couple of these pictures. So um, thanks for subscribing, guys. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for um, watching this video. I know it can be hard to watch the whole entire thing, and sometimes I make, you know, 15, 25-minute long videos, but I really appreciate the ones who stick through and complete the whole video. Subscribe, maybe share, and uh, check out the other videos. Um, I'm getting... Um, Getting better at learning how to do these videos and sticking stuff up right over here. And now we click on the profile and uh, you can check out another uh, video. So, all right, guys, um, happy hauling and enjoy the content and uh, give it a thumbs up. Thank you.